Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. An indicator HIN has a pKa of 5.1 and here you have this equation HIN in aqueous solution going into an equilibrium with H plus in aqueous solution and IN in aqueous solution and here you have color A and here you have color B. This of course is typical of an indicator. It needs to change color depending upon the pH of the surrounding solution. So, which statement is correct? And you've got these four statements here. Let's begin with statement B. At pH 3, color B would be observed. And we also see that pH 3 is showing up with statement D. A pH of 3 means that you have more H plus ions in solution than you have OH minus ions. This knowledge comes from an understanding, first of all, of the pH scale. So a pH of 3, it means that the H plus ion concentration would be 0 0.01 pH 3. This concentration, of course, is quite high. So if you have quite a high concentration of hydrogen ions, then what's going to happen is that it will push this equilibrium in this direction. So you're going to have color A. So pH 3, color B would be observed. That you can eliminate as a possible choice. Then you have at pH 3, the concentration of HIN, which is this, is less than the concentration of IN minus. That too could be eliminated because if this is less than this and you have a pH of 3, which is a high concentration of H+, plus, it immediately suggests that equilibrium would be shifted in this direction. So therefore you won't have this concentration being less than this. You will have this concentration being significantly higher than this. So you can also eliminate D. Now you're left with the two choices that say pH 7. At pH 7, you have a much higher concentration of OH- and a much lower concentration of H+. So the equilibrium is going to be a little bit more in this direction. So at pH 7, color B could be observed. We could check that as a possible choice because it makes sense that you could have a pH of 7 and the equilibrium would then be shifted in this direction and you would end up with color B. Does that have anything to do with this pKa of 5.1? Well, we didn't make any use of it yet, but it does confirm that A is the answer. But then how are we going to eliminate C? What is the basis for eliminating C? You could have it memorized that pKa is equal to pH when an indicator is halfway through its color change. And you could also be aware that when pKa is equal to pH, that the concentration of this would be equal to the concentration of this. But pKa is 5.1, and here it suggests that the pH is 7 when this is going to happen. This is going to happen at pH 5.1. So therefore, we could, based on that, eliminate C. But let's not stop there. Let's go into some detail to understand exactly why this is so at 5.1. So to get that understanding, we should be aware that pKa is the negative log to the base 10 of Ka. So therefore, Ka from this would be a very small value because if the negative log to the base 10 of a particular number comes to 5.1, the number is going to be a very small 0 0.000, four zeros, and then a few digits. So a very small number, that suggests that you're not going to have high concentration of this ion or this one at equilibrium and everything would be shifted more towards this HIN. As the reaction proceeds and hydrogen ions get consumed by 
base being added in a titration, then this equilibrium is going to get shifted this way. And as this equilibrium gets shifted this way, the point is going to come where this concentration would be equal to this one. And if these two are equal, and this is always equal to this, then we could arrive at this expression. And then if these two are equal, this side is one. And then Ka is equal to H plus. And then we could also say that the negative log to the base 10 of Ka, pKa, would be equal to the negative log to the base 10 of H plus, pH. So halfway through, halfway through the color change process, pKa is equal to pH. It means that we're going to have to have a pH of 5.1 to have that halfway point where Hin equals In negative. So it won't be pH 7. With that reasoning, we can eliminate C and confirm that the answer for this question is A.